Ruby, gang, Blake, Ice Queen. Why does everyone keep calling me that? I never got a chance to formally introduce you to my old friend. Uh, aren't libraries for reading? Thank you! <gasps> Pancakes! Shut up, don't be a nerd. Oh no. <sighs> Bobby! And that one's my salute to spring break. Captain Forest here, and in today's Christmas matchup, I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who'd win. More often than not, in a crossverse situation, Weiss from Ruby versus Ultimate Iceman from Marvel 1610. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for the content. Also, huge shout out to the HQ squad. I'd like to give a special shout out to Frisk and Phoenix for helping me with this video. They were a huge help in the Y section. Absolutely amazing work. Absolutely amazing, you know, research went into this video. So huge shout out to those two badasses. Much appreciated to them. Now, if you guys enjoy Ruby content and other types of other verses, please hit me up in the comment section. Give me some thoughts, some suggestions. I'm happy to do a bit of research and look into some of these verses if I find them interesting enough. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and go over this special Christmas match. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Weiss and see what she brings to the table. Now, in order to determine where Weiss would scale in terms of AP, I must address some scaling. So the team of Ace operatives were able to physically hurt and subdue Penny. This very same Penny performs a feat where she pushes Amity ship into orbit. This was calced at small city level. Team Ruby faces off against Ace operatives and Weiss is able to incapacitate two out of the five team members who were able to fight Penny and damage her. Now that's gonna round up the attack potency portion. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to speed. Now as for speed, Weiss can intercept both Mercury and Emerald with an ice wall before they could even get to Yang. Both Mercury and Emerald are fast enough to move and dodge Amber's lightning strikes, which were calced at Mach 352, aka massively hypersonic. So some really good, you know, speed calcs and speed scaling were off the bat. Sun Wukong, who was able to intercept lightning strikes, his speed feat was, was also calced at massively hypersonic, easily Mach 848. Therefore, Whis should scale to other lightning timers such as Sun. Uh, credits to Cypher for this calc. I'll leave a link in the description. So depending on what ranges you take her speed scaling, she's easily in the massively hypersonic to massively hypersonic plus ranges of speed. And depending on how high you want to take, you know, Sun's feet is easily some sub relativistic speed, you can't argue for it. But consistently, very high into the lightning timer ranges of speed. Now, let's move on to something in the verse of Ruby called Aura. Aura in all users in Ruby form a passive force field around themselves to defend against deadly attacks from opposing targets. They can also use their auras and use them in unique ways, and this is associated with the term called semblances. Additional benefits that come along with aura is accelerated healing factor to heal from minor wounds and providing high resistances to heat, extremely cold related environments. For example, without heating or protected aura, the cold of solitus can kill you in a matter of hours. Now, Let's talk a little bit about Weiss's semblance, then afterwards I'll talk about dust. Now Weiss has the Schnee family semblance of glimpse, allowing her to create glimpse that can be used in a variety of ways. Weiss has shown to infuse her dust with her semblance, such as using glimpse to fire off elemental dust attacks, such as fire for example. She can infuse her glimpse with dust to perform whatever types of attacks she desires. Not only that folks, Weiss can also perform summons. She can summon an ice giant called the Armagigas. She can summon small parts of her Armagigas for combat and give it commands such as the Armagigas blocking an attack from a paladin, the Armagigas slicing the paladin in half, and also Weiss using the Armagigas' sword as well as a ramp. Weiss can also command her Armagigas to increase or decrease its size. Armagigas can operate on its own and fight the enemy even when Weiss is immobilized. Weiss also has another summon called Queen Lancer. Queen Lancer can fire ice shards at the opponent and also impale them with its stinger. It can fly and be manually controlled 
by Weiss. Some more unique abilities on Weiss's glimpse. She can immobilize her opponents, basically bind them with her glimpse. She can also fire icicles from her glimpse, place glimpse on a specific body part on her opponent, and focus freeze the area, and she can summon a giant hand made out of ice, and summon like ice constructs to grab her opponents, and form a ball of ice trapping them inside of it. She's also shown to use her glimpse to maneuver around areas or aid her allies. She can sprout an ice wall from the ground to cause pursuing opponents to knock themselves out as they collide with her ice wall and summon ice around her, which acts as an ice barrier. So that's going to round up Weiss semblance. I'm going to talk a little bit more about dust. Weiss has shown to have a wide variety of dust that she has in her disposal. For those who are unaware, dust by definition is naturally occurring energy propellant that can be triggered by the aura of humans and faunus, but in reality it is much much more. Dust can be used as a form of ammunition and is used primarily for offensive and defensive purposes. Dust is also elemental and can also be used in many other new unique ways. Weiss's rapier contains different types of dust inside of it, allowing her to switch between dust and perform uh, different techniques and activate said dust or glimpse she wants to use in the situation. So Weiss can use many types of dust in combat and non-combat situations. She can use rock dust, to summon a giant wall of rock to intercept an attack. She can use gravity dust to restrain foes and mess with their movements with their gra with the gravitational pull of her glimpse. She can use fire dust to light up areas and also use fire dust and pretty much shoot a wave of fire to attack multiple enemies by lacing her sword with fire or summoning glimpse that fire off fire blasts. Weiss can use hard light dust to erect a light barrier which intercepts and allows uh, Weiss to push back the enemy and Weiss can also use wind dust to fire a concussive blast of wind from her rapier. Lastly, Weiss is well known for using ice dust in combat. As mentioned in the semblance portion, she utilizes it more in a lot of unique situations. When it comes to combat, Weiss remains calm and tactical, fighting with precision and coordination. As a testament to her skills, Weiss was listed as the top ranking of the sparring class during the events of the Vital Festival. Weiss can move quickly and is creative on the battlefield, particularly with ice dust. Although she is proficient in several different elements, she can use them both on their own and incorporate them into her glimpse as she can rapidly switch between several different elements in rapid succession without faltering. Weiss also mastered summoning in a relatively short time period despite being completely unable to do so and believing she was incapable of doing so prior. So that's going to round up Weiss. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Ultimate Iceman to see what he brings to the table. So in order to determine where Iceman would be placed in AP, I must talk about some certain events that occurred. So in Ultimate War, Iceman performs a feat where he covers the entire city block with his ice. This feat was calced at large town level, so huge shout out to Karimbus for making this calculation. We've seen Iceman blast back Magneto with his ice attacks. Ultimate Iceman is shown to freeze giant sentinels while the size of large buildings. Iceman has also taken a blast from Ultimate Cyclops' optic blast too. We've seen Ultimate Iceman take out Ultimate Human Torch. During this time period, the Human Torch performed a feat where he goes supernova. This was calced around town level. Again, Another shout out to Karimbus for calcing this feat. Now there is higher scaling and higher range you could use to get Ultimate Iceman higher into the AP departments. However, I don't think it's consistent enough to scale Iceman to those levels. The consistency between it is a little contentious. So the consistency and reasonable ends for Iceman would easily range around the town level to large town level uh, levels of attack potency. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to speed real quick. So Ultimate Iceman is able to react to bullets and block them with his ice shield. He was able to tag and encase Ultimate Captain America in ice. Ultimate Captain America is shown to easily react to lightning. So that's going to round up all the stats. I'm going to go ahead, move on, talk about some cool things and go over some of Iceman's abilities. So Ultimate Iceman's mutant power allows him to generate snow and ice from the moisture in the air. He can use this to blind opponents slide along at high speeds or cover his entire body with ice which acts as an ice shield to block attacks. He can freeze a group of enemies and subtly freeze you without you noticing. He can shoot a concussive blast of ice out from his hand which hits the opponent and freezes their body. He 
shown to target and freeze areas of the opponent's body with the intention to immobilize or encase them in ice. He can apply range to his arm by using moisture in the air to create more ice and extend his reach. Iceman can fire ice shards at his opponents. When Iceman freezes you, he can freeze you to the point of embristlement. He can create ice shields for defense. He can also drop the temperature down to the sub-zero levels and he can also incapacitate a person by affecting their internal temperature to the point their internal organs begin to fail. Iceman can turn his arms into ice blades to cut through his opponents. He can also form constructs such as an ice hammer to bonk his opponents over the head. And lastly, if Ultimate Iceman's limbs are shattered, he can reform them within a few minutes. But if his body is destroyed into pieces, he can die or he's pretty much incapacitated and he's unable to fight. So that's going to round up Ultimate Iceman. I'm going to give my thoughts on who I think wins more often than not in a crossfire situation. So in terms of attack potency, I have to lean a little bit more so with Weiss. I think Weiss has higher AP. You know, small city level is higher than large town level and town level altogether. So I think she has the edge in AP pretty easily, especially with the calcs I've demonstrated on screen. Now, when it comes to speed, you could argue them being quite relative. However, I do think uh, Weiss scales a little higher into the, the uh, speed tiers of the massively hypersonic, small quantifications into it. So I think she'd be able to attack him before he attacks her. So there's a little bit of a speed edge in the speed tiering. Regardless, I don't really see Iceman getting blitz per se, but he's definitely a little bit slow in the, in the uh, speed departments. Now when it comes down to hacks and abilities, Iceman's ice hacks are pretty busted. He can perform a lot of ice attacks, you know, reduce a person's temperature down and he can do lot, you know, all types of miscellaneous and dangerous attacks. He can create massive ice area of effects, summon ice shards and shoot projectiles from his hands or from the ground. However, Weiss, she is no stranger to dealing with, you know, ice herself. She is very very proficient in that in that regard and especially how aura works in ruby like i think her aura, her aura would be able to protect her from a lot of iceman's attacks and also the environment so if iceman tries to drop the temperature down to sub-zero temperatures the aura will happily protect uh, weiss she will not get cold and when it comes to like versatility weiss easily takes versatility she has a lot she has lots of ways to take down iceman she has her ice dust she has fire dust earth dust, wind dust, she's very versatile, she has a glimpse, she has time dilation, so in fact she can even, she can even give herself an increase in speed, so she can literally just blitz, create lots of glimpse around Iceman and just blitz him and attack him with multiple rapier strikes, or use like fire elements, like blast him with fire, and if that happens and Iceman starts to melt, it's GG, and yes, even if Iceman erects like an ice barrier to defend himself, because where Weiss has the potency in the in the AP department, her fire dust would just incinerate and melt the ice the ice pretty easily. So a lot of Iceman's defenses, his a lot of his tools just don't stack up to what Weiss brings to the table. So more often than not, I have to give victory to Weiss. She has better versatility, better stats. She has a lot to work with in the situation, and she also has the skill advantage. So if it came down to fisticuffs, she would literally read. Iceman like a book, Ultimate Iceman would literally get rotted by uh, by Weiss and her skills and just her performance. she just take the victory more often than not. So I have to give this to Weiss more often than not. I guess like maybe low to mid difficulty, but I still favor Weiss more often than not. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Christmas matchup. Please leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for the content. If you guys enjoy Ruby content, I'll definitely be looking more into doing some more matchups. I am researching some you know, anime, some manga stuff, looking into other verses. But yes, it's been real. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good Christmas.